Hi, welcome back. A very good evening to all of you today. We are going to discuss a particular case note, and this name is very clear. It's uh, Larissa Zanita, and her age is 38 years old. And uh, the problem is um, failure to conceive. So let us see the writing task here. The writing task is a letter of referral to Dr. Elvira Sternberg, uh, and she's a gynecologist at 123 Church, St. Richmond, 3121. So you're writing to a gynecologist. So this is uh, a letter which is very relevant to the gynecology. So we have to select the data from the case not which is very genuine to this particular reader. So let us go from the very beginning what uh, exactly we can see here. This is a 38 year old marketing manager and um, she's married to Mr. Sanita. Um, one child is there and he is uh, four years old. No uh, significant uh, medical history and no medications. You can see that um, she first presented to this particular uh, setup, maybe, maybe a clinic, it may be a hospital. So it's not clear, but uh, the first present, uh, presentation was on 11th of uh, July, 2005. Now you can see that um, she had problems of uh, work stress. And um, she reported that she has a plan to have another child in one year. Uh, right now she is on uh, oral contraceptive pills. This is what she reported. The work related stress was something which is relevant there. And when we see that it's, it was, uh, we, we just left her um, after advising her to reduce the working hours and um, the sleeping tablets too. But after a year, no, uh, yeah, after a year, that's um, exactly after a year. Um, on 15th August uh, 2006, she came back after stopping the oral contraceptive and um, she, 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 she has uh, found in the same condition, the work-related stress is still there and um, she, was not, uh, uh, she was not able to reduce the work hours at office. Now, um, she has now one more uh, reason for uh, having increased anxiety, and that is the growing anxiety uh, because of the failure of consumption. Now, what we have done here, we have uh, collected some history that we just asked her that uh, the nature of consumption uh, and uh, the, the frequency of sexual intercourse, all these things were uh given so proper education was given so after collecting the history so the natural naturally we have to say uh, we have to collect the history of this uh, client um and uh, we have uh, given clarifications and education regarding uh, when uh, and how long it takes um to get conceived all these clarifications were made after collecting the history after getting this thing but 18 after six months 18th january she again came and this time she was even tired she was just crying you know we have examined her uh, gynecological examinations were done like past perhaps you know, pelvic examination. Um, now um, we have given some some of the medications for her to sleep too, such as valley. But actually now um, this is a turning point. You have uh, uh, advised her to bring her husband 
the next week when they have to represent. The, so the representation was on 25th of January. So you, you can see when he came, Mr. Sanita had no problem with his um, sexual functions. He has normal demido, libido, he has normal um, uh, erection, and uh, he was very supportive uh, to uh, Ms. Sanita to have another child. Um, now, but um, Ms. Sanita's condition has not changed. Now they, they have assessed the sperm count of uh, Mr. Sanita and have found no problem was okay. So now uh, it's the time for uh, them to refer him to a specialized advice. And the doctor is Elvira Sterenberg. So this is what the condition. So as per the chronological order, we have discussed these things. So let us go ahead and see what exactly how the letter looks, a model answer. So you have written the the name of the doctor, the position, the address, and 2nd February is the date uh, of today. Uh, that's the date you are writing the letter to the gynecologist. And salutation is clear, dear Dr. Sternberg. Reference is Larissa Sanita, that's aged uh, 38, that's 38 year old. Larissa Sanita. I'm writing to refer Mrs. Uh, Larissa Sanita, a mother of uh, a four-year-old child. So the reason why I have included this particular data here is that if I am not uh, you, you, including that here in that particular area, I have to write another paragraph that's another social history. So I have to add it. she's a marketing manager She's married, she lives with her husband and one child. He's four years old. I am going to use a lot of words there in order to avoid that. I just need to include that, but it's not that much relevant. Let me see. Uh, we have said it's a four, a four mother of four year old child. So we have included that in this thing. So this. Larissa Sanita is a mother of four-year-old child. So this is clear. So, so it's a part of social history is already presented there in the purpose paragraph. This is somewhere relevant to the gynecologist because uh, you have a connection here, a mother of four-year-old child who has growing levels of anxiety regarding having a second child. So already she has a four-year child and now she has problems in conceiving. She, she, she is worried about having a second child. Now what she requires is that specialized advice <clears throat> with regards to her failure of consumption. So the battery is very clear in two sentences. So a mother of four year or mother of four year old child wants a second child. And this is uh, her cause of anxiety. I need uh, your expert service to, mm, with regards to this failure of consumption. And that's what the clear purpose, a very clear cut brief, it's a very clear purpose, very brief, and it is formal instead. Now, uh, let's see who is Sanita in detail. So Sanita, marketing manager. So today, here we have said Sanita, mother of four. Here, Sanita, marketing manager. Here, a mother of four. It is relevant to this particular sentence. Here, marketing manager. This is relevant to this particular sentence. So why this is uh, relevant to this particular sentence is because a four-year-old child, a mother of four-year-old child who needs a second child. Here, marketing manager, that's job-related stress. So we can connect these things or else you have to write another paragraph to include these things. So we have included the matter there. On assessment, her level of anxiety was seen increased further after failing conceiving, uh, even after four months of stopping oral contraceptives. So uh, 
she, she she stopped the oral contraceptives, but still she found that she is not conceiving, and this caused further agony on her. Subsequently, her sexual history was collected, and she was educated regarding the best methods of con con conception. Okay, so I just uh, have to. If you want to make some editing here, you can make some. You can make the sentence better. Uh, uh, on her third visit. Uh, on uh, 18 January 2007, she appeared pale, restless, and complained that the previous reported problems persist. So previously reported uh, problems persist. After performing some gynecologic ex examination, including, including pap smear, she was asked to represent with her husband the very next week. So she was okay. Now she, she had her obstetrical and gynecological examinations. Um, uh, then, um, not, not obstetrical examination, gynecological examination. So yes, uh, like, um, and she was asked to present. She 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 should present with her husband after a week. And and it happened on twenty fifth of January. Both represented. Uh, when both presented, so I cannot say both represented. That both presented. Mrs. Sanita was very supportive to have another child and was observed to have no relevant sexual dysfunction. No problem. He also had normal nibido, normal sperm count, but Zenita's condition remains unchanged. So, if you could assess the condition of Mr. and Mrs. Zenita and deliver the best possible advice to solve this crisis or solve this issue. And this is what I'm writing the letter to. Thank you.